If you are thinking about working for the NHS as a data analyst, this video is going to be highly beneficial to you. Pay attention and watch till the end. Somebody sent me five quality questions in my email and I thought, okay, it's going to be better for me to do a video about it, even though I respond almost like a, a very quick response to the person. But I thought if I make a video about it, a lot of other people that have such question or similar question, they will be able to benefit from the answer. So I've got my phone here and I am having coffee. It's early in the morning, so I'll go through the question. So the first question uh, from my email directly, the word, word for word is, education educational background and it says what specific certification will you recommend for someone aspiring to become a data analyst in the nhs so in terms of educational background you will come across you know advert that we say like you know degree in mathematics degree in statistics um you know degree in stem like you know, stem means science technology engineering and mathematics so degree in such areas but the reality is that in most cases you know this job advert they might not actually end up getting somebody that have degree in those subjects so which means that at the end of the day if they find somebody that really have you know good knowledge of you know data analytics tools and it, you know they just in most cases they just employ them so because at the end of the day the degree that you have doesn't really matter what matter most is for you to have the understanding of what you are to be doing in that particular job. So if you are able to self taught um, whatever degree that you have, well, it's still good to have um, some level of higher education degree, but what we actually get you the job is the experience, either experience through a similar job, transferable skill, or experience in your self you know, taught capacity. So that's really the way to answer that particular question. Okay. The second question, skills and tools, you know, and then it says, which technical skills and software tools are most crucial for a data analyst in the healthcare sector? I really like that word crucial, crucial. <laughs> so which one are the most important? When it comes to, you know, uh, data analytics, it doesn't really matter whether, you know, healthcare or whatever sector, the most crucial uh, tools is, you know, Microsoft Excel. That's the way to start. You know, I've said this time and time again on this channel, you start with Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Excel alone can actually get you some job. But if you are able to learn SQL, that we then, you know, separate you a little bit from the crowd. And if you even go further to learn, you know, Power BI or Tableau or any of those, um, you know, uh, business intelligence tools, then you then go further to be separated more from a lot of the crowd. So I've already answered the question in terms of, you know, Microsoft Excel, you know, Power BI or Tableau or both. Um, of course, there are some other ones, so, but those are the ones that are most popular. And then um, SQL, uh, so which you use to be able to extract information from relational database system. Most NHS trusts or make most, um, you know, healthcare, you know, provider, they tend to use, um, you know, SQL, which, you know, information is stored in database. I mean, yeah, and then, of course, you know, you might, you know, learn Python as well. But to be really, really honest with you, Python is going to, you know, separate you from the crowd as well, but isn't really, um, you know, it's not that widely used in most you know data analytics responsibility of course if you are going for a role like data science um you know uh, data data scientist role definitely there's no way you will escape using you know a python or har har is another one so we um you know we can really be um one as well that separates you from from the crowd so but they can have already without rambling too much that question already answered of course you can answer you can ask question in the comment box below if you want okay quick pause before i go to the other question 
this particular video actually is sponsored by you know my community the community for this channel so which is build your data uh, skills community and this community is hosted outside this youtube so which is a community whereby you have access to me directly so let's say for example somebody send me email like this email that i've got um that i'm answering the question somebody send me email and then that there at the same time there's some information um some question inside the community that have been asked i will definitely prioritize the one in the community first um so if you're interested in joining that community yeah link in the description box below i do offer a lot of help that has to do with interview strategy that has to do with you know preparing as yourself to be able to learn all these um you know tools and everything um yeah so a lot, a lot of things being offered in that in that community okay next question is uh, question three experience it says are you oh no it says are there particular types of work experience or internships that are especially beneficial for breaking into the field well so the type of work experience isn't more than like maybe somebody that is already into data analytics and they are interested because there are people that have actually had people that have contacted me who um, they work in data analytics in other sector and they are thinking about you know getting into the NHS well due to whatever reason known to them so that means those one they they already have experience of data analytics just about them getting familiarizing themselves to the um, you know healthcare, sec uh, healthcare uh, data so but you then have uh, there are people that, uh, well, maybe me as an example as well, I actually moved to the energy from um, local government. So I didn't really have experience with healthcare data. I didn't use them, well, I used Microsoft Excel, but not into the high level that I use it now. Uh, SQL, I just only knew what SQL was in terms of select and things like that. I didn't have written any long SQL script before compared to what I do now. Um, yeah, so my experience then wasn't more than saying that, okay, I work in um, in the capacity where I use computer. So if you work in a capacity where you use computer, you're able to use computer really very well, keyboard and things like that. And you're able to use the basic Microsoft Office tools. So which include the, more, the biggest one, Microsoft Excel, to some certain level. It doesn't have to be high level. Microsoft Word to be able to do document, to write document. Uh, Microsoft PowerPoint to be able to do presentation. Um, Microsoft Outlook, which, you know, for email communication, that is it really. So you be able to use Microsoft Office generally in now, currently, and then you work in like some office then that's good enough and then for the entry level um, band four which i'm going to talk more about um, which is the base where most data analyst roles start from within nhs then you know even if you are self-taught and you're able to actually really prove that maybe through the technical assessment and the interview you are able to coordinate yourself and be able to know what you're talking about and all the concept um, you know, logic and, you know, things that have to do with data analytics, then you might be able to, um, to get started, you know, with the NHS. Um, so from the entry level point, um, so that is really in terms of like the experience. So in summary, I would just say, if you're able to use computer and you're able to use Microsoft Excel in some uh, capacity, then yeah, so that's all that is needed. Um, yeah, so, and then, uh, yeah, so, and then this is, of course, especially beneficial for breaking into the field. Yeah, to break into the field, again, it's just to, to learn all those uh, tools mainly. Um, for career path. Okay, career path. Uh, so what does a typical career progression look like for a data analyst within the NHS. So the career path progression is not different from the general NHS structure in terms of like work. Oh, I need to drink. It's my coffee. Okay, so um, the career path is not different from the general NHS, um, you know, uh, structure in the workforce. 
whether you uh, I don't know what it's like for doctors, but I know for nurses and all that, you know, back office administrative, which, you know, and, um, data analysts fall into, it's just, you know, band, a working band, band, I don't know, I can't remember which band is the first or is the band, I know band two, definitely like healthcare, um, assistant, things like that. And, uh, you know, band three, band four, but mainly talking about data analyst role, mostly start from band, uh, band four, maybe there is band three, but the most of the one that I know start from band four. So, and that band four, then you can move to band five, then up, up and up, up to, you know, band eight, ABC or things like that. So, which means that, you know, of course, if you have to think about it logically, you might have like maybe a bunch of, depending on the size of the team, you might have, you know, maybe five band uh, five, um, but then going to band six, the number is supposed to be going to reduce and band seven, uh, band eight, imagine maybe band eight A is supposed to going to be maybe one. You might have only one within the team, depending on the size of the, some team, you might have, you know, maybe three of them. So meaning that um, you can, of course, move up and then you can change as well to another trust. So let's say you're working for a particular NHS provider, you can move to another NHS provider. So which, you know, meaning that, you know, there are opportunity and even within the team, especially big um, NHS trust, the, you know, you can move really very quickly. It just depends on how quickly you want it, how much, you know, work you can put into, you know, to be able to, um, to be able to be on top of your game in terms of not only depending on the work you do in the office, but, you know, uh, maybe at home as well, spending extra time to be able to learn. And the tip as well is that if you are in band five, for example, and you want to move to band six, then you have band six in your team already, you're already looking and watching their shoulder and watching how they do things and when the opportunity comes then you should be able to know how to conduct yourself to get that band six so also if you're band six already watching what the responsibility of band seven are doing then you're able to so yeah so in terms of like you just answer the question at simple time it's like you know there is opportunity to be able to uh, progress um sorry um and then band, uh, where am i Question five, okay, um, resources. So resources, so could you suggest any valuable resources such as books, courses, um, on or online platform that will help me build a strong foundation in data analysis? I mean, I've already talked about, you know, build your data uh, skills community. So which is the community I kind of like a run um so that how we think that is the result that is the one of the biggest resources that you find um so which we, we can help you um so in again i'm not i've said this time and time again not really that i have one particular job that i'm going to give someone but i can obviously guide you to you know building the skills and you know interview prep and cv building and you know Things like that. So, and then you have access to me to ask me questions, you know, and pretty much almost any time you want, really. Um, so, that is a, yeah, so that is something, um, a, one resource that we recommend. And then, of course, there are other resources, books. Yeah, there are books about data analytics that you can grab. Um, yes, and um, courses, I mean, if you are part of the, my community, for example, I am going to be building the courses as, uh, as we go along, really. So which the course, courses are part of the community. And then, of course, most things that you, most information that you need to become a data analyst are just there on YouTube. Go on YouTube, search for, you know, um, Excel tutorial, you know, maybe one hour, two hours tutorial on Excel for data analyst. Python, um, you know, tutorial, you know, Power BI tutorial, you know, all of these are there on YouTube. And actually, I forgot, I have a free ebook, free ebook. That ebook, I think I've had over 50 people, I think it's approaching 60 now, or people that have downloaded it. And I've actually had some 
um, actually reached out to me to say, wow, they are really, really. And the truth about that ebook was that when I started writing it, I was going to, my intention was to sell it. But uh, then I thought, okay, I haven't actually given anything before on this channel. And then I thought I'm going to give it out free anyway. So, and I, I'm giving that free. So the information there is just that a lot of people might just see 60 pages and they don't really read. But if you are one that is really serious, looking that ebook really, uh, how we actually say it's all you need. Um, it's all you need really. But if you don't want extra help, and then you can um, join the community. And it's not just only my community, there are other community there. Bootcamp is another option actually. Bootcamp, you can do bootcamp. Um, yeah, so which is, um, that can help you as a bootcamp. Well, I would say download the, the ebook really. I wrote extensively about bootcamp as well, even in the ebook. So, um, so I would just say download the ebook. And I must say this, um, because a lot of people just think that data analytics is just only about tools. It's not just only about the tools as well. You also need to really understand, you know, how to spot patterns in, you know, in data. You have to understand how to, um, you know, how to see, um, you know, maybe outliers, you know, you have to understand, you know, data cleansing. Um, of course, you need to, to be able to use it, you need to know the technique. Um, for data cleansing, for example, you need to um, have good communication skill. Good communication skill is very important, both talking and also writing. Uh, so because, let's say for example, you've done, you know, the cleansing data, you've done identify some pattern and you are doing some analysis based on you know maybe visualization and things like that you need to write narrative you can't just draw you know charts and graph at people you need to write something around yeah around that particular data and um, that particular um, analysis that you've done so communication skills are not just that communicating within with people in your team and um, maybe colleagues and also some non-technical audiences where by you know some technical thing some information that you put there is too technical for them you need to break it down so the ability to do that is one of the skills of a um, data analyst um, yeah so yeah problem solving yeah to be there would be a lot of problem that comes your way um, in your job, in your role, which you need to be able to solve um, and to be able to work under pressure. As a data analyst, sometimes you have information, especially within energies, suddenly you have, you just turn up to work and there is a particular work that you are expecting to do for that day in your schedule and suddenly, bam, something has come up and, you know, people from high level, they need a particular set of information in the next two hours you know that then pressure comes you need to be able to quickly know what you're doing to get that information out to them uh, in the way they want it so all of these are you know it's not just only about the tools of course the tools are important for you to be able to uh, to be able to do your job so okay five questions i have been able to do uh, my best to answer those five questions do you have any other question that is in there? Drop a comment um, and ask. Do you want to join the community? Click on the link. Do you want to download the ebook? Yeah, you can download the ebook. I've got a resources as well for like a checklist. Do you want to use that checklist as well to be able to help you to monitor your progress as you're learning Microsoft Excel? link in the description box as well so all the links are there in the description box for free and for paid so and this is the way it goes okay thanks for watching and god bless you